Alright guys, so let's talk Apple AirTags. Apple AirTags is Apple's new location trackers and if you're on iOS, you can use the Find My Network to literally find whatever you have paired with the AirTag. So Apple has made a bunch of accessories to put on keys, you can throw one in your book bag. But what about finding a lost puppy? That's what we're gonna test today. We're gonna see if I can find my lost dog, Rusty. So Destiny here, my girlfriend, she's gonna have Rusty. They're gonna walk somewhere, I have no clue where they're gonna go, somewhere within the park. And I'm gonna see if Apple can accurately track the location. How do you think it's gonna go? I think it's gonna go good. Uh, I wonder how that's gonna work though, because we're in the park, there's no streets and stuff here. So, you know, there's no blocks. I wonder how that's gonna work. That's a good point, there's no street signs. Uh, there's no like, there's no avenues, there's no blocks, there's no nothing, it's just a park. Right, we're gonna see how it works. Alright, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure you guys leave a comment, like, and definitely subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd love to reach 5k subscribers by the end of the year, so help me out with that goal. But I'm going to wait until like maybe 5 minutes. Destiny is going to give me a call when she's ready to get found. And I'm hoping that soon because it's hot as hell out here. Like, it's mad hot out here, y'all. Yo. Alright, I'm going to try to find you. All right, let's do it. Okay, so this is a very mixed experience right now because the air tag is struggling, like the location tracking is struggling like crazy right now. Now it told me to go a completely different direction, so I feel like this may be it. I don't see them though. It's telling me that I'm basically here and they're definitely not over here. <laughs> yeah, this is not going as expected or as planned. Yeah, I don't know where you at. Alright, I'm gonna come out. I still can't find her. I think I see her now though. Alright, so I do see her. Oh my gosh, this has been experienced. It's hot as hell. Look at this, y'all. Bro, it's still insane. Oh, now this shit wanna work. Look at this. <laughs> now it wanna work. So today was a day and very interesting results, right? But the interesting thing is, this is actually my second test. I did my first test a couple days ago when it was raining. And when you compare today compared to two days ago, the results are very different. On that day it was raining, you would think there'd be dropped signals, it was a thunderstorm, and I had no issues locating Destiny and Rusty. The precision finding worked perfectly. Even without the precision finding, it was pretty easy to find them. I had no issues. What's up, bro? I found you. Lost dog found, y'all. Guys, we found him. That was very interesting. Let me go pick up my umbrella because I dropped it. But that's because I was in literally a city block. A bunch of avenues, a bunch of streets. I was by a corner store that's on Apple Maps and Google Maps. So it was easy to trace. But when you're in an open, ambiguous area like today, without any avenues, without any street signs, without anything able to really help the Apple AirTag identify its location, you get the results like how I got today. It was very hard to find her. It starts putting me on different paths. Things just work weird. It's just crazy how the results are so different. And that can impact you in very different ways. If you lose an item, or in this case, your puppy, in a city area, 
where it's a lot of street signs, a lot of avenues. Again, you should have no trouble locating them. But if you lose them in a park, good luck. <laughs> it's gonna be very hard to locate them. And that's with anything, right? Because with a dog or an animal, it can move. Somebody will find them or they will move on their own. But if you lose your keys or a backpack, something that might stay there because nobody finds it, and then you're in an open area, it will be very difficult for you to find your item. So this is a good to be aware of, to know the limitations of Apple's AirTags. But I'd be remiss to also not mention that today is 90 degrees. It's literally 90 degrees. And even my iPhone was affected by the heat. It had a little slowdown. It was kind of acting funny. So we don't know how the heat impacts Apple AirTags. And it works decent. You just have to be aware of its limitations. So if you know you're gonna be in an open area, maybe be more mindful of the things that you have don't have a false sense of security using apple's air tags because i think the moment you do you get yourself in a situation like this where you're like oh i can easily locate it and boom you're in trouble be mindful even when you have an air tag on because you might not be able to find your item as easy as you think but that is about it for the review if you enjoyed this video again make sure you give me a like and a subscribe again i'm on a road to 5k i really want to hit 5k before the end of the year so if you can help your boy out I really appreciate that. My name is D Dames and I make videos about tech and lifestyle. So again, if you like those videos, give me a subscribe. But otherwise, I'll be giving you guys the next video very soon. Appreciate all the love. Stay blessed, y'all. Peace.